Hi and welcome to Text Nation TV. We are still covering CES 2013 and we had to stop by this little booth because a dock is something that you always need at your desk, at home, whatever, because you always want one place you just drop it, whether it's bedside, whether it's at the office, or just at your home office, wherever it may be. And we kind of like this dock because it looks like he has everything here. And so we stopped by here at the, uh, let's see, the Apple Core Gear booth and we're here to talk to Mr. Randy Williams, correct? That's correct. Brother. All right. We're going to go ahead and let him kind of show us what all's here and kind of explain what we've got here for our docks. Great. Rusty, thanks for stopping by, first of all. We found that there was some flaws in the docks that are on the market today, so I bought about every dock that I could find, found out what I liked, what I didn't like. And here's, here's what we found. There's three things that I felt was important about a dock. One, we think that you've got to keep your case or cover or bumper on your phone in order to be able to use it. The idea of having to remove it kind of defeats its purpose and functionality. Two, we wanted a workstation. So this particular dock sits here and it's tiltable. So if you're doing FaceTime, you're going to probably want to move it up so where you can have the camera shining in. If you're going to do it in a work mode, you need it in an ergonomic position that you can type on it with one hand and while you're doing other things at your desk. So it, it's a very useful workstation that way. And the very number one reason that I felt important about having on a dock, you pull off your phone and the dock stays stuck to the table. So what we've done is we put a polyurethane base and it just sticks where it sticks. And at some point, if you move it around, it gets a little dirty. It's designed that you just pop it off, wash it underwater, it restores it back the way it was. All right, so let me ask you this. We've got multiple colors, multiple shapes and sizes here. Let's say, you know, I have what you have here, like a Samsung Galaxy S3 or some other Android device that may have a USB. I see you've got the uh, uh, Lightning dock connector, the lightning, the and I see pin. you have the 30 pin. What about Android devices? We do have an Android device for any Samsung or some HTCs that would have the center mount micro USB at the base of the phone. If it's on the side, it's not going to work quite so well. But we do have it for those phones that have that, that feature. Now, let's say after a little while of usage, and we've got this going back and forth, tell me, tell me what this actually is right here that's actually making this work. And, you know, because I would be afraid of, over time, this loosening up. Fair enough. This is the same kind of joint you have in your laptop that is being used over and over millions of times all around the world. If it does ever want to loosen up on you, which we don't think it will, but maybe you want it stiffer than what we factory do it, Inside is a simple little slots here. There is a mounted wrench that will come with it. This is the prototype that the production will have. And you just quarter turn the nuts and it will stiffen it up at whatever fits your fancy. That's wonderful. Now also I see that you got it plugged into USB there on the back. Can I also plug this not only in for charging but if I want to plug it into my Mac or my PC for syncing as well? Absolutely. Of course it syncs and it does come with a wall charger if it's next to your bed and it also comes with a two meter long cord and a 50 centimeter long cord so that at, at your desk you don't always need a long cord right. to bundle up but at your home or at another location in the kitchen or wherever you may need to reach the socket. So we've got two meter cord that comes with it as well. All right, now the last two questions that we ask everybody. Mm -hmm. What time can we expect this anytime in the future? Is it available now? And then uh, I'll let you go into pricing as well. Okay, we are gonna go into produ production very soon in uh, middle of February. Okay. And then as soon as that started, it will be in America or anywhere in the world uh, about a month and a half, right. month and a half, maybe two months later. What kind of pricing are we looking to expect? We're running on the Lightning Bolt, we're looking at 99 US dollar on a retail, down to 79 on the micro USB, and 89 for the 30 pin. That's awesome, and for those of you still running the 30 pin, uh, you need to update to the iPhone 5. No, I'm just, I'm just messing with you. But anyway, we just want to stop and show you this cool little dock that we've got here. We've got more coverage coming up on textnation.tv, and we're gonna continue on this show floor for CES 2013.